There being 146 ayes and zero nays, the bill is finally passed. With that, the Texas House of Representatives unanimously passed a bill intending to make the state of Texas a model for others on how to revamp investigations of sexual assault and provide better services for survivors. House Bill 1590 creates the Sexual Assault Survivors Task Force in the governor's office, which will make recommendations to improve the collection of and reporting of data on the investigation and prosecution of sex offenses. It'll develop best practices from that for all Texas communities and conduct a twice a year survey that will reveal communities with the best services for survivors and publicly list those that still have gaps. Representative Donna Howard of Austin led the bipartisan bill, which has more than 80 co-sponsors. She credits the case cleared investigation from Newsy Reveal and ProPublica for helping lawmakers reveal that they needed to act now. I'm not sure that any of it would have happened otherwise. Knowing uh, the, the concern that was out there through your reporting, through uh, what's been going on specifically here in Austin, as well as I said in other parts of the state, um, gave us the unique opportunity to say this is this is a real problem. The report revealed how police agencies nationally have been masking the truth about how often they really solve rape cases. And it prominently featured claims from Austin's police chief, like this one that he made to city council. I do have the actual clearance numbers if uh, you're interested. We clear in 2013 57% of our violent crimes. The U.S. average is 39%. But we found the majority of those cleared rapes in Austin and in dozens of cities nationally were not arrests, but something called an exceptional clearance, where police can make their own publicly reported clearance rates go up while leaving the suspect on the streets. House Bill 1590 offers $3 million to help energize the new task force in the governor's office, but Howard, who sits on the Appropriations Committee, says it's only the beginning and part of an entire suite of legislation this session that has passed, adding $80 million so far to the next Texas budget. It's an infusion of money to make top-to-bottom improvements for all Texas communities in the way that they'll respond to sexual assault. And once again... Howard credits Case Cleared for helping. Clearly there was a heightened consciousness and uh, a willingness to, to go all out this session. And I believe we were in a unique uh, position to make major game-changing uh, decisions here in our state that are going to really improve uh, the whole process. House Bill 1590 moves now to the Texas Senate. 